My name is Jeff Bezos. I studied electrical engineering and computer science. Graduated in 1986 from Princeton. And my current job, I'm the founder and CEO of Amazon.com. Well, the Kindle is a wireless electronic reader. We started working on it more than three years ago now, more than probably almost five years ago now. The idea is to take the key features of a physical book capture those and then go beyond that. So the number one feature of a physical book is that it disappears while you're reading it. You're not thinking about the ink and the glue and the stitching and the paper. You're entering the author's world and the physical object just goes away. And that's what we wanted to achieve with Kindle, to have a device so simple that it too would disappear and let you enter the author's world. Failure is an essential component of innovation and invention. If you know it's going to work, it's not an experiment. And so if you want to invent, if you want to innovate, failure is part and parcel with that. There's no escape from that. If I were to go back in time and, and give myself one piece of advice uh, as an undergraduate, it would be take pride in your decisions and hard work, but not in your gifts. Celebrate your gifts. Enjoy them, but don't take pride in them. Take pride in your decisions and hard work. My best memory of Princeton is finishing problem sets and partial differential equations. And my worst memory at Princeton is starting my problem sets in partial differential equations. <laughs> For anybody who is starting, if anybody it's their freshman week and they're starting at Princeton, I think the advice as to what to focus on is pretty simple, which is to figure out, which is not always easy, but try to figure out what you're genuinely interested in and then pursue those things. Alternative techniques might be Try to figure out what you think is going to be most lucrative or, and I think those techniques tend not to work. Um, it's very, very difficult to chase after a wave. What's better is to plant yourself in the middle of something that you genuinely love and then wait for the wave to come find you. That just makes the video better, you guys. You realize that, right? If there's a little bit of laughter that you can't quite cut out. It's like the Today Show and the cameraman can't help but laugh. And then the boom drops in the right. frame, right? <laughs>